Positioned at the crossroads of east-west trading routes, Sri Lanka is an economy in transition. A largely rural, agriculture-based economy in the past, with a skilled and expanding workforce, the country is now transforming itself to become a more advanced, knowledge-based economy. In 2016, the export sector consisted mainly of apparel, travel services, transport services, tea, spices and rubber, with export of services being a key driver of economic growth. Growing steadily since 2010, Sri Lanka outperforms regional competitors in key industries, especially in services. With access to over 2 billion consumers through bilateral free trade agreements with India, Pakistan and Singapore, and trade concessions being granted through the European Union GSP Plus and the US GSP, the country has ambitions to project itself as a prominent trade hub in South Asia and the Indian Ocean region, much like Singapore and Dubai in their respective regions. With its big aspirations, Sri Lanka has launched itself as a vital economic player in the region. While simultaneously building on the strength of traditional sectors, the country is diversifying its exports to increase competitiveness and resilience in global markets. Sri Lanka hopes to increase export revenue to 28 billion US dollars by 2022. To reach these ambitious objectives, the government of Sri Lanka and local business and industry leaders have collaborated to design a comprehensive National Export Strategy or NES to transform the island nation into a knowledge-based and highly competitive open trading economy. The National Export Strategy will aim to uh, build more and more brands from Sri Lanka, export brands from Sri Lanka, uh, from high value and high quality produce across many priority sectors. It will also have a impact on the trade reforms that we hope to undertake. It is up to the private sector to ensure the robustness of this uh, strategy in taking it forward and uh, generating more and more export revenue, expanding into new markets, as well as to sustain the objectives of this strategy. The NES is a driving force in line with other key national economic initiatives such as Vision 2025 to propel Sri Lankans to a higher income bracket. The National Export Strategy has identified, uh, gone through all the studies which, have, which we have done over the past to support the export in Sri Lanka so they can diversify the export basket and move into high technology, high technical uh, production systems. The NES envisions Sri Lanka as an export hub driven by innovation and investment. Its main objectives are to create business-friendly, predictable and transparent policy and regulatory frameworks that support exports. To strengthen the market entry and compliance capacities of exporters. To become an efficient trade and logistics hub to facilitate exports and to drive export diversification through innovation and the strengthening of emerging sectors. The government's strategy is to transform Sri Lanka into a hub of economic activity in the Indian Ocean. Therefore, drawing up of the national export strategy is extremely timely. This was done with close collaboration with the private sector, the trade association chambers, the ministries and departments, and it's an all-inclusive strategy. To create an enabling business environment for enterprises, the NES has focused on enhancing the country's performance in logistics, trade information and promotion, national quality infrastructure, and innovation and entrepreneurship. With the National Export Strategy coming into place, we have a properly thought through framework in which all sectors of exports can grow. To increase export revenue and foster job creation, the NES, while supporting other established sectors, is also promoting the growth of six emerging industries, namely, information technology, 
spices and concentrates. Wellness Tourism Processed foods and beverages Electronic and electrical components and the boat building industry. National Export Strategy will certainly enhance the national and international visibility of the boat building sector. Revenue growth, market growth, direct and indirect job creation. Plan, focus and futuristic. The National Export Strategy will give a tremendous boost to promoting Ayurvedic medical tourism. And this would definitely um, help us grow quite a lot. The much needed investment to grow. Improved logistics, proper data, proper availability of innovation. I believe that we will be able to unleash and harness our true potential. Since we have been granting back, the EU has been granting back GSP Plus, there's a new range of opportunities for trade exports for Sri Lanka companies. With the government's commitment to deliver sustainable growth, together with Sri Lanka's favourable business environment, the NES will create more jobs, improve livelihoods and deliver collective prosperity to all Sri Lankans, from Hambantota to Jaffna and from Kalmune to Colombo. The NES is navigating the island nation to its rightful place in the Indian Ocean as an innovative, sophisticated and dynamic trade hub serving Asia and beyond.